Um, good night, Ghost Gamers. This is the last video from Tech Labs Moscow 2013. And here I want to summarize the tournament and how it went, the coverage and stuff. First of all, you saw the games, the epic final. Of course, that was uh, really amazing stuff. I think everyone at the event enjoyed that show. I can say about few fails of organizers. For example, on the first day, uh, Dota was only on one small screen without sound. And, and for example, the game Navi Virtus Pro, the people that were at home, they had a better stream than the people that actually came to the place. There were some smaller fails, all the delays, it was like three hours or more in the first day. Uh, also one of the disappointments was that there were not so many people as expected. Even that there were four different games. Uh, the amount of people was so-so and I don't know why but I think it's also one of the like promotional fails of organizers but I don't think that the tournament itself was a failure or something advantages of there was free bar for VIPs there were uh, autograph sessions hundreds of giveaways between the games for all the people and basically everyone that came there could have fun in their own way. About my work I took three interviews and a bunch of other videos like Venue Overview, Smile Playing versus Navi uh, and some other videos you'll see on Gossip Gamers channel. Personally I usually make uh, much more interviews but uh, this time it, uh, there were only four teams and uh, everyone was speaking Russian so I didn't want to overload uh, guys that make subtitles with work plus I was limited with questions because you don't know some Russian scandals and stuff so if I ask these questions and they would be translated it would be kind of weird for you also I didn't interview Virtus Pro because they interviewed every LAN and here they failed, so I didn't want to disturb them with questions. As for the Empire guys, I wanted to also interview one score, but they came to the venue just five minutes before the final started. So I didn't have a chance to actually speak with them. And Navi also came like 10 minutes before the games and after they won they immediately went on stage and started preparing. So also no time to have an interview with them. After the final I talked a bit with Mag and other guys. Uh, basically he said that they lost picks in first and third maps and especially on the third one. Besides he said that in the first game one support, which was Venomancer, killed all their team in the late game, which he thought was like ridiculous. It shouldn't happen. So they had some mistakes. Of course, they didn't have time to prepare so well. So he was kind of disappointed, but he said that the main battle will start in Poland on EMS and they will prepare uh, hardly for that one. As for Navi, yeah, they were kind of happy. No special celebrations or anything. Uh, just another tournament and more money to them. Also wanted to point out that the bear that went on the stage was kind of strange. Oh, I supposed it to be like more of a show and uh, I think organizers overestimated the value of that mini show. I think just the usual ceremony with prizes would have the same effect as that bear coming on the stage, but whatever, maybe it's my opinion. My nickname is Morph Designer. I'm actually working for ProDota. I was covering only one tournament for Gosso Gamers. Maybe you'll see me on ProDota, maybe you'll see me in some other Gosso Gamers uh, reports uh, or anywhere else. I think all, all in all uh, it was a nice event, uh, would be better if there were more teams. So thank you everyone for following. I hope you enjoyed what I did on the event. Follow Gosu Gamers. thanks for your attention, appreciate that.